Which Pokemon are going to be the three starter Pokemon in Legends ZA? Well, okay, let's look at the obvious answers. For the water type starter, Piplup could seem like an easy fit. Its evolution, Empoleon, is inspired by French Emperor Napoleon Bonaparte. Its name is actually a combination of Emperor, referencing both the ruler and the species of penguin, and Napoleon. It's a pretty easy link because uh, Pokemon Legends ZA is set in the Kalos region, which was heavily inspired by France, as confirmed by Junichi Masada in an interview with Nintendo Life. With Pokemon X and Y, Masada says, we focused on the theme of beauty, and we really felt that France matched that. The name Kalos is actually an ancient Greek word that means beauty, so that ties in with the theme too. I think the issue really is though that there's not really anywhere for Empoleon's design to go. If the starters get a regional form, I can't see Empoleon literally inspired by Napoleon. I can't see Empoleon becoming more French somehow. If the starters get a mega evolution, Empoleon's design can't really be taken much further. Kenzu Dimori, the art director for Pokemon, said in an interview in 2015, there are Pokemon that were rejected as a Mega Evolution candidate because it's like they couldn't evolve any further design-wise. Okay, if we look into the other starter Pokemon, we should set some ground rules first. Of all the possible starter Pokemon, we're going to start by ruling out the Kanto starters, since they already have Mega Evolutions and were available as pseudo starters in Pokemon X and Y. This also rules out the Kalos starters and the Hoenn starters, since the former are starters in X and Y, and the latter already have mega evolutions as well. We'll also rule out the Paldean starters uh, purely from a gameplay aspect. It would feel quite underwhelming to receive a Paldean starter in two Generation 9 titles in a row. And finally, we can rule out Rowlet, Cyndaquil and Oshawott, who were the starters in the previous Legends title. This leaves Chikorita, Turtwig, Snivy and Grookey as the options for a grass type starter, Totodile, Piplup, Popplio and Sobble for a water type starter, and Chimchar, Tepig, Litten, and Scorbunny for a fire type starter. Although we discussed Piplup as a choice for a water type starter earlier, Popplio could also fit the theming of the Kalos region. Primarina, its final evolution, is based on a few concepts including an opera singer and a mermaid or siren. These two themes actually work really well alongside the Kalos region's theme of beauty as well as the French and Greek inspiration for its design. Primarina is actually associated with both opera and operetta, uh, an operetta essentially being a lighter form of an opera. It's shorter, has a smaller orchestra, and features lighter subject matters. Fun fact, operetta was actually first recognized as a distinct musical genre in the 1850s in Paris, the city that inspired Lumio City, the setting of Pokemon Legends ZA. At the time, uh, opera comique was popular in the French entertainment industry, which was a, a type of opera that, despite its name, was associated with heavy subject matter and tragic endings. It was intended to portray realism in performance, combining comedy with tragedy in a humanistic way. However, Operetta gained popularity thanks to the break it gave the audience from those subjects. This gave me the idea for a water and psychic type form for Primarina that, you know, perhaps like Hatram and Latias, if you look in their Pokedex, it says they're very sensitive to human emotion. So you could make a psychic regional form for Primarina that, like Latias and Hatram, is sensitive to emotion and prefers Operetta. Operetta continued to evolve throughout the 19th century and despite being a precursor to modern musical theatre it actually still existed alongside it throughout the first world war and early 20th century. I could easily see Poplio as a starter Pokemon in a 20th century Kalos that's currently experiencing a boom in the entertainment and performance industry. On the other hand Primarina is inspired by the myth of the Siren, a mermaid-like creature that in modern depictions sings songs that lure lonely sailors into the ocean where they drown. Sirens are heavily tied to Greek mythology as well with the first known mention of the siren being in Homer's Odyssey, where Odysseus has to be bound to the mast of his ship to avoid the temptation. Sirens have been used throughout the past few millennia as metaphors for, you know, beautiful but powerful and dangerous women. Oh, fun fact, Homer's Odyssey actually doesn't give a physical description for what the siren supposedly looks like, and early statues and imagery often depict the siren as being half woman, half bird, instead of the modern half fish design. Earlier depictions throughout the 7th century BC depict the siren as a bird with the head of a woman, but later shifted to women with bird feet and wings. They were also depicted playing a variety of musical instruments, such as the lyre. If it received a new form in Legends ZA, Primarina could take on a more sinister form, perhaps a, a water and dark type, that could take more inspiration from the earlier avian depictions of sirens, while still upholding its main themes as a musical performer, while twisting the theme of beauty to be more in line with the typical siren. Okay, <laughs> one last point on Poplio. Uh, sea lions 
are often associated with the circus in modern imagery. New Circus, or Cirque Nouveau, was a genre of circus that partially originated in France in the late 20th century. I wouldn't be surprised if Carlos in Legend ZA has a focus on the booming performance industry in a 20th century Lumio city, as mentioned earlier, and a circus performer form for Pro Marina could work well thematically. In an interview from 2013, Junichi Masada described the three main themes of Pokemon X and Y. We had the concept of beauty, the concept of bonds to deepen the relationships between people and Pokemon, as well as the concept of evolution. A form like these for Primarina could be tied to the first two themes for the original games pretty well. And I feel like Pokemon Scarlet and Violet were profitable enough to allow Game Freak to experiment more with, with Legend ZA, allowing for more absurd regional forms like this. Oh, actually, if you want to see just how much money Scarlet and Violet made, you can check out the, the video I made on the topic. Did you know it's actually on course to become one of the most popular, successful Pokemon games of all time? Uh, anyway, for a grass type starter Pokemon, the most popular popular choice in the Pokemon community is Snivy. The Unovan starter Pokemon were designed to show the diversity of the Unova region, taking inspiration from the diversity of New York City. Superior, Embor, and Samurott are based on Western, Chinese, and Japanese culture respectively. If Samurott's Japanese inspiration could earn it a spot in Legends Arceus, it stands to reason that Superior could get a shot at being in Legends ZA. Superior's design also has influence from specific French origins. The design on its chest is reminiscent of the fleur de lis, which is a French symbol that has come to represent many ideas, but in Superior's case, it references its nobility and connection to Europe. Ken Sugimori states in an interview that Superior was designed with the concept of a European knight in mind, kind of like Lady Oscar from The Rose of Versailles. The Rose of Versailles is a manga series that, if it wasn't already obvious from the name, is set in France. It will be interesting to see a form for Superior that leans more into its origins as a European knight instead of becoming nobility, especially since Lady Oscar Oscar, the character from the Rose of Versailles, referenced by Ken Sugimori, becomes invested in the ideals of the French Revolution, according to a wiki page run by fans. The two forms of Superior could easily be made to represent the two sides of the French Revolution, the nobility and the revolutionaries. It's also worth noting that the French Revolution is often attributed to the rise of Napoleon Bonaparte, tying Superior's and Napoleon's design inspirations together quite well. Finding a fire-type starter Pokemon that fits thematically for Legend ZA is actually quite tough. Uh, Infernape was inspired by Sun Wukong, the main character of a Chinese epic. Embor was inspired by Zhang Fei, a character from the Chinese novel Romance of the Three Kingdoms. Incineroar is a messed up tiger-cat hybrid thing that also wrestles. And Cinderace just, like, plays football, I guess. You could easily make some quite strenuous links from these Pokemon to Kalos, though. Uh, for example, in Romance of the Three Kingdoms, Zhang Fei was assassinated and their head was severed. This possibly inspired the wreath of fire around Embor's neck, so why not make a fire and ghost type form for Embor based on the French nobility that got executed via the guillotine? Okay, maybe that's a bit grim. Um, uh, Incineroar is a cat, and a painting from 1747 titled Magdalene Pinceloup de la Grange features a cat as a pet, which was quite unusual for the time. Why not make a fire and fairy type form for Incineroar based on the aristocracy, privileged to be born into wealth? If you want to take it a step further, you could base the form on the phrase born with a silver spoon in their mouth, meaning to be born into a wealthy family, which could be taken even further to relate to the famous quote, let them eat cake, which is often attributed to Marie Antoinette. For Cinderace, I mean, I'm pretty sure French people play football too, so um, I'm sure there's something you could do with that. If we say that Piplup and Snivy are the most likely to be the starter Pokemon, it would leave Litten and Scorbunny as the potential fire type starter Pokemon. If you believe Poplio and Snivy are more likely, it leaves Chimchar and Scorbunny. It's probably worth pointing out that the starter Pokemon in Legends Arceus can be made to represent three different eras of Pokemon. Cyndaquil comes from Generation 2 during the Game Boy era of Pokemon, Oshawa is from Generation 5, the DS era of Pokemon, and Rowlet is from Generation 7, the 3DS era of Pokemon. If this was an intentional design choice from Game Freak, Snivy, Scorbunny, and Poplio would fit this theme too. Snivy is from the DS, Poplio from the 3DS, and Scorbunny is from the Nintendo Switch. Going back to the interview with Kensuke Mori from earlier, he, he describes designing the starter Pokemon for black and white. We always divide the roles for the three starter Pokemon, by which I mean we assign each of them a distinct personality. For example, we make a cool one, a serious one, and a funny one. We knew Oshawott would have to be the serious one, which is how he ended up with the facial expression you see in his final design. While I'm aware these designs 
don't necessarily relate to other generations' starter Pokémon, it is worth noting that Legends Arceus's starter Pokémon can all be made to fit the serious archetype of their original starter trio. Sugimori already stated that Oshawa is the serious one due to its facial expression, in Gold and Silver, Chikorita is the funny one, Totodile is the cool one, and Cyndaquil is the serious one, taking note of its more blank expression compared to the other two, similar to Oshawa. In Sun and Moon, Popio is the funny one, Litten is the cool one, and Rowlet is the serious one. If we want to continue this design philosophy, we can start with Snivy, uh, the cool one from Pokemon Black and White. For a fire type starter, that could leave us with Chimchar and Scorbunny, and for a water type starter, it would leave us with Totodile. With all of this in mind, for the Legends ZA starter Pokemon, I would bet on Poplio and Snivy for the water and grass type starters, and I hope I've, I've successfully convinced you as well. As for the fire type starter, it could really go any way, but I'd go for Scorbunny due to its connection to the most recent era of Pokemon. And of course, it's impossible to make this video without discussing the possibility that the starters could just be the, the Kalos starters, being Chespin, Fennekin, and Froakie. You know, that wouldn't surprise me, because maybe, maybe Game Freak want to give them like a round two. They want to give them mega evolutions this time around. And you know, honestly, I'd be down for that. I really, really like Chespin. We talked about the Kalos starters earlier in this video. I would bet that they still do return in Legends ZA in a way similar to the Sinnoh starters returning in Legends Arc. Oh, in fact, here's a video discussing almost 200 Pokemon that could return in the game. For example, did you notice the Absol in the teaser trailer? If you want to hear more about the returning Pokemon, you can click on the video on screen right now.